Hi, my name is John Penn. I'm currently teaching a two-day course at ATI and RF Fundamentals. I've been working in the industry for about 30 years and currently work at the DoD and teach part-time at Johns Hopkins, where I've been teaching RF for about 25 years. Uh, the course is intended as a background for people who may not have the basics, uh, may not be a full-time RF engineer, but to give them some of the fundamentals and limitations of RF systems, go through some of the basic building blocks. I've worked on systems from across the solar system, from the Mercury mission that's currently taking pictures of Mercury, to the New Horizons mission on its way to Pluto, eight years along on a nine and a half year mission, uh, which should be sending back pictures of Pluto in the summer of 2015. Uh, I look forward to showing some design examples, having good discussions with students at the end of the day as to what topics they're particularly interested in, and I can give examples that are related to whatever your particular field of interest would be concerned. What you will learn. How to recognize the physical properties that make RF circuits and systems unique. What the important parameters are that characterize RF circuits. How to interpret RF engineering performance data. What the considerations are in combining RF circuits into systems. How to evaluate RF engineering risks, such as instabilities, noise, interference, etc. And how performance assessments can be enhanced with basic engineering tools such as Excel, MATLAB, and several free open source CAD tools such as AppCAD. From this course, you will obtain the knowledge and ability to understand how RF circuits function, how multiple circuits interact to determine system performance, to interact effectively with RF engineering specialists, and to understand the literature. Here are some of the slides that will be presented during the class. On the first day, we'll give an overview of RF fundamentals, uh, propagation overview, characteristic impedance and transmission lines, S-parameter basics, uh, the Smith chart, RF and microwave matching, couplers, noise, distortion, harmonics, and other limiting factors, and then a precursor to active designs as gain and stability of amplifiers. The second day, uh, an overview of communication systems and circuits with the discussion of several major blocks, amplifiers, antennas, filters, mixers, and measurements. Uh, in the afternoon, I'll give some demos, go through some design examples of typical systems, mention some resources where you can find more examples. And at the end of the day, I plan a question and discussion period. Since I would expect a wide variety of backgrounds and interests from the audience, um, I would like to have an open discussion of topics of interest. A PC board layout person might wonder, why do the metal traces have to be a certain dimension? Why do I care how close things are in the RF circuit board? Um, and so the open source line calculator tool helps them learn how to calculate impedances of those transmission lines, and the overall course helps them to understand what are some of the limitations in designing PC board layouts. Or maybe a mechanical engineer wonders, wonders about the thermal performance of RF circuits. I haven't specifically uh, talked about thermal effects in the background material, but it could lead to a question in terms of what does thermal effects have on semiconductor performance for RF circuits, such as added noise, degraded gain, and reliability effects such as drastically reduced lifetime.